Today's block of the day is going to be a single shot right infraclavicular block uh, for wrist surgery. And uh, the unique twist, we've done an infraclavicular block in the past. Today's unique twist is going to be uh, using a non-stimulating, non-echogenic needle, uh, expecting the, the path to be somewhat steeper than average, uh, and seeing if turning on the needle visualization software is going to enhance the image of the needle uh, at that steeper trajectory on versus off uh, with the software. So go ahead and get started. Okay. Notice the arm position is um, abducted, externally rotated. It's going to help displace the clavicle out of the way. Okay, you're going to feel some cold gel on your shoulder. Okay, we start around the deltopectoral pectoral groove and just scan medially and laterally under the clavicle, caudal to the clavicle. Okay, in the bottom right side of the screen, about three and a half centimeters deep, you can see the pulsatile axillary artery there, just superficial to the pec minor and the pec major. And uh, the hyperechoic honeycomb around 6 o'clock, we're going to call the posterior cord. And the hyperechoic structure around 9 o'clock, we're going to call the lateral cord. Go ahead and turn MBE, multi beam up, there you go, on. So we're going to try to keep the target to the left side of the dotted line there. And we're going to come in from lateral to medial. Lateral is more towards the head. And see if we can turn it on and turn it off and see if it enhances the visualization of the needle. Notice that we can still see a pretty good target view. It doesn't seem to be distorting our target image having it on. So we'll leave it in the on position for now. Uh, have you got paperwork yet? Nope. Okay, I've got some. Okay, you're going to feel a big bee sting, okay? Big pinch. Big sting, I'm sorry. Okay, you're going to feel a big, a lot of pressure. Okay, you can see the needle approaching very brightly from the left side of the screen there. Okay, I'm going to get the needle tip. Trying to get it around 6 o'clock relative to the artery there. Okay, it looks like about 45 degrees. Gets you a nice view of that needle along its length. Okay, go ahead and turn the needle visualization software off. Okay, needle essentially disappears. Turn the software back on. Needle reappears nicely. We'll do it on and off a couple of times. Try to uh, enhance the ability to demonstrate the difference. Okay, I turn off the needle visualization software. And turn it back on again. Off. And then back on again. Okay, you can definitely see a difference. We're going to have you aspirate and get five cc's, leaving the software on. Okay, another five. Pull back a little bit, a little closer to six o'clock. Aspirate and give another five. Good. Another two. We're going to just target the lateral cord now. Another two. I'm just going to follow my injection over the top of the artery. Two more. That works for me too. Oh my God. Go this way. Two more. Mm -hmm. Stay there. All right. That's that's fine. Fine. That's fine. You want to squeeze my hand? You can take it out on me if you want. Two more. Try to get patient. You are, you're being fine. Oh, I feel it right behind my head. Oh, God. Okay, two more. Oh. Two more. Take a breath. Hold your breath. 
Okay, last two. Last three. Three. Okay, I'm gonna pull the needle out. We'll just go ahead and review this off the uh, anatomy here. See the lateral cord. Some local around it, around 10 o'clock. Scan a little bit medial and lateral. Like around two o'clock, you can see a pretty nicely encircled medial cord. And then the posterior cord looks like it's been pushed over closer to five o'clock, deep to and to the right of the artery. Now turn off the visualization software. Let's see if the, v the views of the target are any different. Like a pretty similar ease of identification of the targets. Lateral cord again, around 10 o'clock. Video cord around two o'clock. And posterior cord around five o'clock. All right, so that was a ultrasound guided uh, right infraclavicular single shot block we demonstrated. There was definitely a difference when we turned on the needle visualization software. And interestingly, uh, at that steeper angle, about 45 degrees, uh, that was where the most marked difference was. And uh, that was sort of expected. The steeper the angle, most definitely, uh, the better the improvement with needle visualization software. Uh, so for these deep blocks, the infraclaviculars, the transversus abdominis plane blocks, proximal sciatic blocks with ultrasound, I think there's a definite uh, clinical role for the use of visualization enhancement techniques like needle visualization software. Uh, as we've demonstrated before, uh, you don't see a whole lot of improvement uh, at the flatter angles, but then again, you don't really need a lot of help at those flatter, more superficial depths. So for the deeper structures, definitely something worthy of consideration. We'll try to make a few uh, more videos in the, near week, in the coming days and weeks using the visualization software uh, with various deeper blocks. Hope that was helpful, and uh, stay tuned for more blocks of the day in the uh, days to come.